Okay, so now step number four of the cigarette method. So far, we well, what we did. We symmetrized everything by considering the absolute value of z. Then we split the absolute value of z in the base part and the main part. And then we build the cigarette. So what remains is to sample from the tail and to sample from the base. So how to sample from the tail? Well, we can do this, for example, via accepting rejection uh, sampling. And there are several options, and proposition 7.2 gives one. So u and v are independent and uniformly on zero one distributed variables, and r is still our cutoff parameter. So what's our proposal random variable? This is y, so y is the square, the square root of r squared minus 2 log v. And we are testing this proposal by the condition u times y less or equal than r. So if this condition is fulfilled, then we accept and otherwise we reject. Or to state this here um, as the equality of distributions, so the target distribution p of xt equals the conditional distribution of y under the condition u times y less or equal than r. So that's again an exception rejection sampling procedure. And the proof is done in the tablet notes. And But I would like to give at least one detail here or one consideration why this is a sensible method. So if you look at this expression here for y minus 2 times log v, this is always positive because log v is always negative because v varies between 0 and 1. So this thing here is greater or equal than r. So, um, well, we want to sample from the tail. But in the tail we are greater or equal than r, and this is greater or equal than r. So this just is a teaser for the proof. Now step five. So what to do with the main part? Well, we didn't um, construct the cigarette for nothing. So let's skip a bit ahead to the sketch. So, well, this is our cigarette here. So, and if you look at the black curve, the black curve dominated, dominates f of x, and f of x is the pseudo density from which we want to sample. So now we are doing an exception rejection sampling. We generate um, a proposal under the black curve here. And we accept if the sample falls under f of x, under this curve of f of x, then we accept the first coordinate and otherwise we reject and do it again. So that's the, exactly the geometry of accepting rejection sampling. Generate a sample below the dominating curve, which is easy because well, we have only rectangles. And if it falls under the uh, target pseudo density we accept and we keep the first component and the first component is is um, well the first component is a realization of the distribution from which we want to sample so let's go back let's formalize what is the black curve here um, well the black curve is given by this um, pseudo density well up to this funny typo here. So the pseudo density is of the proposal is the step function and it's exactly the black curve I showed to you. And as I said, um, accepting rejection is here really simple due to the geometry of accepting rejection sampling. And that's why we spend so much time to, to introduce accepting rejection sampling, not only by the short proposition, but in a long way with the three steps of the ideas. So we sample, as I said, x and y uniformly on AGB. Well, AGB is the, um, is the set of x and y, so x between 0 and r, and y between uh, 0 and gb, uh, boundaries included, so it's the area under the uh, pseudo, uh, pseudo density. And, well, if y is less, than f, less or equal than f of x, then it's also under the red curve, and we keeps the first component, otherwise we reject. Okay, and what are the rectangles for? Well, the rectangles for 
are for um, to simplify the exception rejection procedure because well, we can first pick a rectangle which we are in and then we sample uh, conditionally on the rectangle we are in and this simplifies the thing again a lot because well suppose we we know we are in rectangular R3 and then we have an X and Y and what you can see is only this part here we have to reject of the sample and also well if you go below here if you go uh, down here so if you have a sample in R3 and the x coordinate is less or equal than x2 then we are clearly under the curve and we don't have even, even to generate the second coordinate for the test so this improves efficiency of this exception rejection sampling procedure a lot and that's why the cigarette is so efficient let's let's break this down into some more steps so as i said using the rectangles we often often do, do not need to test the proposals so first what we do is we sample independent independent the rectangle we are in so which, which means we sample i uniformly on 1 to n and what we also need um, well, is the x coordinate and for this we need a uh, realization of a uniformly on 0 1 distributed random variable and we call this w1 well if i is equal to n then we are we are in the base strip um, what does it mean so we are in the base strip and because we cut off the, the tail um, so we cannot be in this part here but we are only in this part but here we do not have to test anything we are clearly under the red curve so um, what we do we just set x equal to r times w1 and we accept x so in the, if we are in the base strip we don't have to do any tests well if i is less than n we are in rectangle ri so again for the uh, x coordinate we just multiply xi times uh, wi to get the x coordinate because the x coordinate is uniformly distributed on 0 xi and again let's go back for example suppose we are in r6 and if now the x coordinate is less than x5 well we we don't have to test we just can accept and that's what we are doing if x is less than xi minus 1 we just accept x and otherwise and this otherwise is the only place place here where we need to check whether we are in rjb we are exception rejection we are an exception rejection procedure so here's the only place where we need the second uh, second coordinate so otherwise we sample independently uh, w2 and w2 is again um, uniformly distributed on 0 1 and here is a test so we accept x if this condition here is fulfilled um, and this condition well it's y less or equal than f of x <coughs> this is y and more details are for this are again given in the supplemental part okay but that is it and um, we start again if no x has been accepted so sample the rectangle we are in if we are on the base tip we can just do this and accept x if we are on rectangle ri well we can accept if we know if, um, that the core x coordinate is less than xi minus 1 and otherwise we have to do this test and as i said we only reject in the gray parts okay so let's summarize everything so what we are doing in the cigarette method is um, <clears throat> we, we are sampling a standard normal when variable through sampling of its absolute value and its sign and we have these four steps here and step zero is a pre-computing step so where we choose the tail parameter 
uh, for the tail variable and we are determine the sets for covering the pseudo density of xb. So r1 up to rn minus 1 are the rectangles and rn is the base strip. And this is really done by pre computing. It can be done offline before and then the values are just saved. Okay, and afterwards, after this pre computing step, we have these three steps. So, first we decide whether we sample from the tail or not. Well, if yes, we use the method step from step four, this exception rejection method. And if not, we sample as in step five, where we really exploit the cigarette construction. So, and well, as I said, this method is due to Masalia and Sang. And if you are looking for a really elegant and efficient implementation, you can find this in this reference here. Okay, let's. Okay, so let's finish today with a bit of pseudocode. So, um, this is a pseudocode algorithm for a naive implementation of the cigarette method for sampling. Um, the absolute value of z. So, well, what you see here, well, we have one, two, three, four ifs, not, so it's not overly complicated. Okay, well, um, step one is to generate a Bernoulli random variable with, um, with success probability p, and the success p is here while we are on the base part. So um, a success means uh, we equal to one. So then we are in the base part. And consequently, if we is equal to zero, we will return an X from the tail by using, for example, the uh, exception rejection implementation I showed to you. Else, well, then we are in the base. We generate W, um, I and I independent, independently. So I is uniformly on one end, so discrete uniform distribution, and W1 is the realization of a uniform, uniformly distributed variable on zero one. So if i is equal to n, then we just set x equal to r w i, as we have seen, and else we compute x as x i times um, w1. And here's again the next x. Um, Except since rejection step, so if x is less than x i minus one, we just accept x, and else we need to the, need to do the additional test. So we generate the additional independent um, w two, which is uniformly distributed in zero one, and here is the test whether we are below the red curve or not, whether our proposal is below um, the target pseudo density, and. While well, here you can see again the saving, because this W2 is only generated um, in a few cases where we actually need. So here, acceptance rejection doesn't need uh, the second component. So that's why we can save a lot of proposals, proposal random variables here. Okay. Um, that's the pseudo algorithm for the cigarette method, and that concludes the part about the cigarette method. In the next lecture, um, we will go back to Monte Carlo integration. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you.